Hi everyone, welcome to Backward Benny Builds, where today I thought we'd take a look at my custom tie striker from Rogue One. Alrighty, so Rogue One is a, let's see, it's just about a four-year-old movie, and uh, this build is pretty much exactly the same age. I built this thing um, at the beginning of Christmas break after seeing Rogue One and uh, it's been sitting on a shelf for four years so it's pretty dusty and um, it's I'd honestly forgotten about it right up till today but I, uh, I saw those TIE Striker ships in Rogue One and I thought man that's really really cool I wanna I wanna have one of those for my Lego collection unfortunately the set was like seventy dollars and I definitely didn't have the funds for that back then. Um, Star Wars stuff just tends to be pretty overpriced. But I did have the TIE Fighter set from, I think, 2012. And I actually just parted that down and rebuilt it into this. I had a little baggie of extra pieces left over. But 100% of the parts that you see here are all from that 2012 TIE Fighter. So one of the main draws of the TIE Striker as a ship model is that it has these very distinctive wings off to the side that are, you know, pretty different from a TIE Fighter. And in universe, they're supposed to be able to, to fold up like that as, a, I believe, like an attack mode or something. I'm not a Star Wars expert, but I wanted to simulate that sort of, that same sort of action in mine. And so it does have the ability to fold the wings up. Unfortunately, they are heavy enough that they they hinge back down um, if I take my fingers out from underneath them, but that's because I don't believe this set had any really ratchety, ratchet sort of pieces, so I just use those click hinges, and they work pretty well for giving it the standard look of the wings down, and if you want to hold them up from beneath, then you can still get that same sort of attack mode look. On the underside of the wings, I actually did include some weapons, weaponry, uh, for, you know, shooting at other spacecraft. These are just the, the old flick missiles that never, never really worked too well, but, you know, that's what we had back then, so... Additionally, I have a, uh, big cockpit window at the front like they always do have for these tie sets that can be opened up and let's see if I can get some light in there I do have a pilot and a little red control deck actually you know what I'll take the roof off as well Oops. yeah 12 year old me did not build as strongly as me today but yeah you got a pilot in there he has console in front of him and then you can take him out and he's got a little seat. Um, the back half of this main fuselage area I didn't really know what to do with. In the set they actually had the wing folding mechanism housed inside of that. Um, instead I just added a removable hatch and so that can be a second room down there if you want to put like a minifigure in and just have him riding in the back. Uh, it does, I guess, technically have a hallway between the two, but, you know, it's really hard to, to get people through there. I mainly just went for the exterior looks, and I honestly really like the way it turned out. So, yeah, that, that about sums up the TIE Striker that I made. Um, this is, again, a four-year-old build. Nowadays, we have much more uh, specialized parts in the inventory that, you know, could probably lend themselves really well to builds like this, but this is 100% um, sourced from that 2012 TIE Fighter. All, every single piece in here. So, I honestly really like how it turned out. I think, uh, you know, for the limitations, it works quite well. So, yeah, that's, that's my TIE Striker. Oops, pieces. Scooch to the side. 
still very dusty. You know, I might actually try and rebuild my old TIE Fighter after this. But there you have it. This thing barely fits in my light box. So there you have it, folks. Um, that's my TIE Striker. I, for being 12 years old and using the parts just out of a single set, um, I think it turned out okay. I'm willing to live with the fact that the wings don't stay up, and otherwise, it's, uh, it's a pretty good model, in my opinion. But, you know, that's, of course, my opinion. I hope you guys like it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.